When it comes to quality, safety, and benefit of medications and foods, there is no room for error. USB testing methods vary, but they are all designed to determine the safety and benefit of medications. Consumers deserve to know that the medical products they purchase meet USP testing specifications and that their health won't be at risk from using them. Good quality standards are essential to manufacturing good quality medications and foods. Let's talk about a few common USP tests. USP-71 is a form of sterility testing for medical devices. USP-71 is enforceable by regulatory agencies and is applied to substances, preparations, and articles required to be sterile. The testing requirement is used to confirm sterile products do not contain viable microorganisms before they are administered for patient use. There are typically three methods for implementing USP-71. These methods include membrane filtration, direct transfer, and product flush. Oftentimes, laboratories will perform method suitability for each specific product formulation to ensure that the appropriate method is chosen for testing. USP-85 is a bacterial endotoxin testing method. Although there are multiple testing methods available, the most used test of this kind is the limulus amoebocyte lysate test, or LAL for short. The LAL test is a simple method for the detection of viable and non-viable gram-negative bacteria. This involves extracting blood cells from a horseshoe crab by the name of limulus polyphemus. LAL reacts with bacterial endotoxin or lipopolysaccharide, which is a membrane component of gram-negative bacteria. The primary purpose of the LAL test is to apply USP reference standards to parenteral pharmaceuticals and medical devices that come into contact with blood or cerebral spinal fluid. Bacteria and microbial contamination remain to be a major threat during the development of medical products, but the LAL test has become a great way to combat this breach in sterility. USP 2021 and USP 2022 tests are performed to determine the presence or absence of a specified list of microorganisms within nutritional and dietary supplements. USP87 is designed to determine the biological reaction from mammalian cells that come into contact with polymeric materials. USP87 uses three distinct test methods, which are agar diffusion, elution test, and the direct contact test. The decision as to which type of test depends upon the material, the final product, and its intended use. These uses may include plastics or elastomers used as containers or used to seal containers that will hold drugs or other solutions for intravenous bags, intravenous tubing, or any other plastics that will directly contact the patient. You should be sure that your pharmaceutical products follow guidelines. As we've mentioned, many of the USP testing specifications are enforceable by federal law. That's why it is crucial to be sure that your pharmaceutical products follow the appropriate guidelines. Not only does it keep your company in good standing, but it also takes care of the safety of the public who may use your medical products. Sure Biochem Laboratories has a team of seasoned scientists who can help ensure your company is following the guidelines set up by the USP for medical devices, pharmaceuticals, water, and food. Receive a quote today for on-time USP testing services. Sure Biochem Laboratories, results you can be sure of.